Welcome to the Robinson Lloyd Resiliency Group. Today we are honored to have Mrs. Kathy Sanova, one of our resiliency counselors, present yoga to manage anxiety. Now, this was a brainchild of Ms. Dalsey, who's a school counselor for University Heights Charter School. And this presentation is to benefit the students who are preparing for exams. Mrs. Capsanova, I'm now going to pass the floor over to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Tonya. And I'm going to share my presentation about yoga for anxiety. And today, as Tonya mentioned, it's presented by uh, Robinson Lloyd Resiliency Group, and my, my name is Alexandra. So on behalf of Ms. Toy and myself, uh, I would like to thank you, our partners, University Heights uh, Charter School for accepting our workshop. Special thanks to Dr. Oliver, to Dr. Scott, Ms. Covington, and Ms. Dalset for helping us to organize this. It is a great you know, pleasure and honor to be here. So today we'll cover a little bit what is anxiety, why the science of anxiety, how yoga helps us and what we can do in everyday basis or small pieces to keep us a little bit less worried, a little bit more happy. <laughs> so first I would like to start with the quote of, I guess, famous uh, yoga teacher Iyengar. Yoga doesn't just change the way we see things, it transforms the person who sees. So basically, by doing small steps, what you will be learning today, you have the opportunity to change yourself. Starting with yourself, that's how you change the world, right? So let's first talk about what is anxiety. Anxiety is medically, let's say, <laughs> talking, it's a feeling of fear, dread, or uneasiness. And it's usually caused by some kind of stress. And stress might be very different. For someone not washing the dishes is stress. For someone to be late is stress. Someone is like super, you know, powerful to deal with the stress. They always remain cool and nothing stressful. But even they have some triggers. So anxiety helps us to cope. It might give us boost of energy to deal with the situation, to overcome it. But if you always feel anxiety or we feel anxiety unnecessary, that becomes a problem. And here I would like all of us to remember, how do you know that you feel worried? How do you know that something is wrong and you're like anxious about something? I have this next slide to help you a little bit. So I'll talk about myself. I might feel like really sweat, but the first sign what I feel is my heart rate is start to pump. If it's really threatening situation, I might feel like my breath going uneasy. I think all of us remember like when we start, might start crying and we still, you know, we worry so much that we cannot even calm ourselves down. The other common signs are muscle tension, blushing. Uh, some people experience like really severe signs of Anxiety is like nausea, dizziness, and they might become like seriously sick from just worries. So please learn what are your body signs. So in order to know how to help, you need to know what is going on, right? And here with some students from University Heights uh, School, we came up with some ideas how we can regulate anxiety. One is the healthy way, deep breath, brain break. Sometimes you just need, you know, maybe watch something, maybe read a book, maybe look in the window, just something, you know, go for a walk. Hugs helps, awesome. <laughs> talk to a trusted person, talk, to, talk about your feelings, just express how you feel, sometimes even to yourself. Just acknowledge that that's what you feel right now. There are unhealthy ways and there are plenty. We shared some which we find us, we were found in us doing. It's like eating too much, maybe sometimes unhealthy food, just trying to calm ourselves down. 
Sometimes we isolate ourselves or we feel depressed and we don't want to talk to anyone and we just try to hide somewhere. Some of us become rude and aggressive. We shout, we scream, we, you know, might even push someone just out of this fear and feeling of uh, helplessness. And we are today presenting the tool, which is yoga. It's amazing universal tool, which helps not only your body, but mind to deal with the signs of anxiety, with the body, the signs of anxiety, with your emotions, and of course, with your, you know, spirit. And the main principles, what are, I would like you to keep in mind when you will be practicing today and in general that by doing exercise, you control your actions by including breathing and focusing on your breathing. That's something what we'll do today, especially. You control your intelligence. And by, when you include meditation, we'll share some examples today, small or big, doesn't matter. You control your emotions. So all this together helps you to regulate yourself and be, as I said before, a little bit more positive, a little bit more happy and bring it to the world, not only to yourself, but to share with everybody around. And here concludes my talking part. <laughs> and we will come to the uh, me presenting and I would like to stop sharing so you can see me in the full screen. And because today we are doing the yoga for those of you who might face anxiety during the exam time or preparation for the exam or right before it, that's why we are choosing the cheer yoga as a tool to help you to balance yourself, control the emotions and complete your task in hand, okay? And Miss Tonya volunteered to be my, uh, you know, model. Thank you, Miss Tonya. Uh, I will be verbally guiding you, but at the same time you can see me. Uh, I will guide, sometimes you can close your eyes to focus on your breathing and movement. Sometimes you might pick on me and see what's going on if you feel confused with my words, but I'll do my best to guide you. Okay, so let's start with the feet on the floor and your eyes closed, hands on the knees. And then just take a few deep breaths to acknowledge that you are here, that you're breathing, and you're present in the space where you are. And start with the breathing for four counts. One, two, three, four, and breathe down for six counts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Exhale through your mouth, gently open your lips and one, two, three, four, five. Again, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. And now when you feel a little bit more calm, just think of the intention of your practice. And think that there is no big or small goal. Whatever you feel is good, Miss Tonya, I'm so sorry, but I don't. 
no, I figured out. I was confused with your recording. I'm sorry. I just checking that it is there. I apologize, everyone. I got my anxiety in, and that's you see. Even with the breathing, didn't help me. So let's see. Hopefully, yoga will help me. <laughs> okay, everyone, focus on your intention for the practice. My intention will be to be able to breathe easy and manage my tasks, what I have for the day, with a smile on my face. Remember, you can choose anything you want, and during, during doing your practice, you will acquire extra energy to help you to deal with your goal, with your intention. So take a couple of breaths, thinking of your intention. And now bring your hands in the prayer position in front of your chest, fingers are touching. And then open your arms to the sides and swing them through the sides up and overhead. And exhale, hands together, press down towards the knee. Beautiful. One more time. You can keep your eyes closed through the sides, reach up. And exhale, bring it down towards your chest. Again, inhale. And exhale. And now let's reverse. Inhale, lift the arms up, stretch, lift up towards the sky. And exhale through the side. Again, inhale. And exhale, deep breath, exhale to the mouth. One more, just like that. Inhale, reach up towards the sky. And exhale, arms through the sides and back in front of your chest. Wonderful. You can open your eyes and keep your clothes. It's up to you. But we are turning the chin from left shoulder to the right. Do it very gentle. Coordinate with the breathing. Inhale on the left. And exhale on the right. Inhale left. And exhale right. One more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. And now gently land your ear on the left shoulder, in reach, <laughs> and exhale on the right. Don't lift the shoulders though, shoulders are down, just your head is going from left to right. But be gentle, you don't want to pull it very hard. Arms are relaxed, your feet are landing, resting on the floor. And now make a full circle with your head. So draw the chin down, then chin up to the right. Exhale when your chin is going down. Inhale when your chin is up. Exhale. Inhale. One more exhale. Inhale and reverse. Chin down. Inhale, chin up. Exhale, chin down. Inhale up. One more, just like that. Smoothly without moving your shoulders. And chin down. Beautiful. Now gently roll your shoulders, bring your head back to the center and roll your shoulders back. 
if you have space, if you don't have something blocking in front of the back, you can try to do it with your arms. But if it's too much, that's fine. Just do your shoulders. That's totally work. Good. And reverse circles forward. Another variation of this moment is to bring the hands on the shoulders and circle it with your elbows. But try to make big circles like you're drawing big clock on the side. Beautiful. Feel the smile of your body through your body. Good. And now just rock from side to side, just a little bit shifting shoulders. Think that there is a wall behind you. You actually have chairs referral and slide from side to side, but don't move the hips, just the upper body. Good. And now maybe you can make a circles with your chest. See if it works. Good. Just we are warming up your spine. Our spine is the source of life and energy. And you know, as long as our spine is flexible, that's long as staying young. Good, keep going. Now reverse the direction. Deep breathing, focus on your breath. Good, and come back to the center. Gentle circles with your hands. You can reach your hands just in front of you and rotate your wrist. Think that you're scooping the water or the sand and it comes out through your fingers. So scoop and let it go up. And maybe make this moment reaching up towards the ceiling and look still towards your hands. And then bring back in front of you. And switch the direction of rotation. Again, lift it up. Interlock the fingers and open the fingers facing the ceiling while they interlock. Good. Look towards your fingers, towards the sky, and bring the hands back towards your chest. Still fingers interlock. Beautiful. And then exhale and push it forward just in front of you. And think that you're a turtle and trying to hide your head between your arms. So your back is rounding. And then exhale, bring the hands in front of your chest. Rest it on your chest, feel your heart rate. And again, exhale, push it out, hide your head round the back. And exhale, bring the hands back towards your chest. We'll do it one more just like that. Exhale, push it out, reach in front of you while your back is going to opposite direction. Chin is to your chest. And exhale, bring back towards the chest. Good. Rest your hands on your mat. And take a deep breath. And feel your feet in your shoes or without the shoes, resting on the floor that brings your attention in the present moment. And then inhale, lift the arms up through the sides and exhale, turn towards your left all the way and bring the left hand on the back of the chair and right hand on your right, on your left leg. And look all the way towards behind, maybe your left shoulder. So big twist. Make sure your hips are not moving. You can grab the back of the chair to help you. Look back. 
And even with your eyes, challenge yourself, try right? with both eyes, look towards your left ear. So it's yoga for your eyes. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the arms up through the sides. To help you with the deep breath, exhale, turn towards the right. And we do the big twist, twist on the right. So all the way, look back. Chin as far as you can towards your shoulder. Eyes towards your right ear. Finish your exhale. Inhale and rise up, arms overhead. Bring your fingers together and bring the hands down in front of your chest. Good. And now stretch your legs in front of you. And just circle your ankles. Big circles with your ankles. Deep breathing. And reverse, circle to the other direction. Try to really make it big, as big as you can. And now flex the feet, so toes are towards you. And then point it all the way forward. As long, as far as you can, point, 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 point. Yes, and flex, bring back. And point, good. And again, flex, bring in, and point. And now squeeze your toes. I think that you're holding something with your toes very, very tight, very tight. And open it wide. You can also do it with your fingers. <laughs> Again, squeeze, squeeze. Toes and fingers, squeeze. And open. <laughs> All right, good job. Okay, a few more moves to for our legs because we are, we are sitting it's a lot of tension building here so in case you cannot stand up i totally understand just try to massage your thighs with your hands just bring you just need some energy going down your legs okay so you can massage it otherwise you can also try to turn one hip at a time towards the floor so for that, sit on the very edge of the chair and point the knee, point the knee down one at a time. Good, and come back. And this one, I know you can do it under the table. <laughs> so try to bring the left leg left ankle right across across the right leg so the ankle across the knee make sure it's not the foot so you're not uh, doing any harm for your ankle it's ankle across the knee bring your back nice and long bring your hand on the thigh not on the knee on the thigh and gently lean forward with a straight back so you feel the stretch in your inner thigh right I see Ms. Toya is not here. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. Then I know it works. Keep breathing. It's a very good deep stretch. And by holding the posture, remember you are training your mind, you are training your grip. If you can hold on, even when your body says, I don't want to do it. Trust me, you can do, and you can achieve anything in this world if you can keep your body under control and release. Put the leg down, shake it out, and let's try it with the other leg. 
bring it across. Take a deep breath and exhale, lean forward. Couple of breaths. Focus on the breath helping you with any discomfort in your body. Beautiful, keep going. And release. Good job, shake it out. Shake it out both legs. And now let's come back to our breathing. You can close your eyes and just notice how your body feels. If you feel like your body is smiling, there's some internal smile in your body, that's great, that's what we wanted to achieve. Take a few breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And as a part of our small meditation, which you also can do anytime during the exam, we'll just practice grounding to think. So feel your feet on the floor, feel the sensation of your feet. With your hands, touch your, whatever you're wearing on your legs and feel the texture of it. And find one more feeling. Maybe you want to touch something else with your hands, maybe your chair. Just to feel if it's cold, warm, smooth, whatever qualities you can find. And release. And now listen to three sounds. Maybe you can hear the wind outside the window. Maybe a gentle breath. Or maybe there is any noise your neighbor is doing. Or in the other room you can hear something. Now open your eyes and look at three objects. I can see the wall. It is gray. I can see the bright colors of the toy in front of me. And I can see the reflection of the shelf bookshelf on the floor. So now you experience all this at the same moment, the noise, the sensations, and the visual image. So just look and try to do everything at the same time, or whatever you can feel. So it helps you to be right here, right now. And now let's close our practice together with a deep breath. So swipe the arms how we did in the beginning, through the side and up. And exhale, bring them down in front of your chest with a gratitude to yourself and to your body. So now, remember your intention, what you said for the practice. And feel how much more energy you have in your body to achieve and to clear this path towards your intention. If your intention was to be calm, I'm sure you can do it. If your intention was to perform, to do my best on the exams, you have all the power within you to do this, to achieve it. Just take all your new energy, and go ahead. Thank you, everyone. We have, we have a few more slides to share.
So it's basically just a conclusion that I want to verbally to translate to you that practice your breathing to regulate your emotions. So if you cannot do the movement practice, just do your breathing, what we did in the beginning, right? Know your body size. If you feel like something which we discussed, like you're sweating or you feel your heart rate is up, do any of the techniques, grounded techniques, like looking at the moment, feeling your feet, or again, breathing to help you calm down. And meditate in your free time. That always, you know, helps. Thank you, everyone. Let yoga help you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself or Miss Tonya. We always, you know, here for you and ready to help you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mrs. Kapsanova. My intention was to be calm and I feel calm and clear. Thank you so much. That was awesome. And I, I know that the students would really appreciate this. I'd like to say a special thanks again to Dr. Oliver, uh, Dr. Scott, right, Ms. Covington, Mrs. Darcy, everyone for the opportunity to share our presentation today. Wishing all our students the very best in their exams. Bye for now. Good luck. Thank you, everyone.